Hi, I'm Amy from World of Animals magazine. Now this is the question on everyone's lips at the moment. Is Jurassic Park possible? Is it possible to bring an extinct species back to life? Well, it might sound like science fiction, but in reality, it's already happened. The Pyrenean ibex is an extinct species, it's kind of like a goat, and it used to live in the mountains around Spain. Now the last one died in the year 2000, but Researchers collected skin samples and they froze them in liquid nitrogen. Three years after the last ibex died, a baby was born. The baby unfortunately only survived for a few minutes, but nonetheless they brought an extinct species back from the dead. So is it possible to resurrect a dinosaur that died 70 million years ago? The problem with this is that you need living tissue, you need tissue that's fresh and it's a long time since the dinosaurs died. But in 2005, a research team in Montana found a T-Rex skeleton that still had traces of collagen and red blood cells. The 68 million year old, re million year old remains had been preserved by iron in the body, acting a bit like formaldehyde. Now in most cases, soft tissues are broken down by, by microbes within just a few weeks, but this uniquely preserved body given us an incredible sample of dinosaur DNA. But there is a missing ingredient. The cloned ibex was actually incubated inside a living surrogate goat. Now, there are plans to implant critically endangered northern white rhino embryos in surrogate southern white rhinos. And unfortunately, in the case of T-Rex, there are no animals alive today that could realistically act as a host. So for now, at least, it seems the T-Rex really will stay extinct.